Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the validation activity. So, before going forward, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where you can understand about the until activity. So, let's see about the validation activity. So, validation activity you can use to validate in a pipeline to ensure the pipeline only continues execution once it has validated the attached data set reference exists. So it means, for example, we are having a blob storage as a source and SQL server as a table in the destination. So we want to load from source to destination and in the source we are getting the file on every 30 minutes. So it may be on 30 minutes or 31 or 32, it will be a little bit delay on that. So without fixing the time of the execution we can use the validation activity so it will be going to check whether source file is available there or not if source file is available then it will be loading the data into the destination if source file is not there then it will be waiting for the specified time that we will be specifying in the in the letter of this video so it will be waiting for that time and after that it will be checking again data set is there or not if data set is there then it will be continue to load into the table if not then it will be waiting and after some time it will be checking again so let's quickly go and we'll see the requirement and after that we'll see quickly about the until activity that we have seen in the last video so first of all this is our input blob storage container so under this container we are having this employee file so as of now we can see employee file is there so we just want to load this employee file data from here to sql server table that is the emp data now here we can go and we'll see about the until activity that we have seen in the last video so in the until activity so what it is doing we have declared a variable and this until activity will be executing until this status variable value is false. Once this value is true, until activity will be stopped and your copy data activity will be executing. So here in the expression, we have set this as bool that is true. We are checking and in this first we are waiting for some time. So your pipeline will be paused. Next in the get metadata activity, we are checking the data set. So whether data set is there or not. So we are using the exist property of this. So if data set is there, then this exist property will true. Otherwise, this will be false. So in the if condition, we are checking as we can see that value of the exist. If this value is true, then we are simply setting the variable value as true. That is the status variable. So your until activity will be stopped. So this is we have done in the last video. Validation activity, let me create a new pipeline and let me call this as validation activity. Now, here we can search for the validation activity and we can drag and drop. So this is very straightforward. Here we are having the description of this task and the name. So we can call this as validation, leave as it is. Next under the setting. So under the setting, we need to set the data set by which we want to check. So we have already created the data set in the last video. So I'm going to use the same. So that is the until activity. Let me open it and quickly show you that. So if you can see the uh, link service, then this is pointing to SSU testing, which is a storage account. That is SSU testing. And under that, we have this input. So this is the input location. And then after emp.txt file. So this is the data set next here we can see the timeout so timeout is very large and as per your requirement you can set that next the sleep so it will be checking every 10 seconds so your validation will be stopped for 10 seconds and again it is checking whether the file is there or not if file is there then it will proceed if not then it will wait again 10 seconds and then will be checking again so this is the only thing that you need to do next we can simply use the copy data activity to load the data so we can simply connect with this and in this source we can use the same data set that is the until activity that's it go to the sync we have already created the sync connection in the last video so i am going to use the same so for each emp go to the mapping import the schema 
so here everything looks good so that's it we can execute and we'll see so in the first attempt this will be executed successfully and will be loading the data because the employee file is there that you can see employee.txt so it is validating now we can check in the output side validation is in progress so everything is succeed because in the validation activity in the output we can see the exist is true so that's why it is executed now let me try to delete this emp.txt from here so now your source file will not be there and now we want to debug this pipeline so this time your validation activity will be executing and your pipeline will be paused for 10 seconds so this is in progress as you can see now we can refresh so this is in progress and nothing is going to happen because this validation activity is not finding the source from there so that's why it is in paused now here let me try to upload a file from here so upload in the blob storage select the file so this emp.txt let me click on open and all right if already exist so uploading this file so this is uploaded successfully there now go back to the azure data factory and try to refresh it now so this time your file is there so that you can see your validation activity now is getting exist as true so that's why it is succeed otherwise it was paused as we have already seen in the copy data it is already loaded in the sql server table so we can check from this watch so here we can see this is succeed and total three rows are inserted so i hope guys you have clear understanding about the validation activity if you have still any doubt then you can ask your question in the comment box i'll try to respond there thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video